Jeff, we're in Baltimore's Inner Harbor East, and we've come across a small but a very interesting museum in a building that's more than 150 years old. At one time, this building was the President Street Railroad Station, the southern terminus of the Philadelphia and Wilmington and Baltimore Railroad. Now it's been turned into a Civil War museum, a museum on the site where history was made. Rob Reyes is one of the founders. Baltimore was a city, a house divided during the war. There, uh, Baltimore and Maryland, it was, uh, you know, Baltimore and Maryland is a border state. So here you had uh, a, a combination, a hotbed of Unionists, uh, Southern patriots, um, pacifists, because there were Quakers here, and the largest free black population uh, in the United States. What about the history of this building, Rob? This building is the oldest uh, big city railroad station in, left in the United States. Um, it was built in 1849 and opened for service on February 18th, 1850. And according to co-director Ralph Vincent, this was also a station on the Underground Railroad where runaway slaves fled to freedom. There are several uh, very important uh, escapes. Um, one of the first using this railroad was uh, Frederick Douglass in uh, 1838, the exact year that this uh, railroad was organized by the merger of three other railroads. Um, other significant, uh, Henry Box Brown, who wrote an account of his escape, uh, had himself shipped to Philadelphia in a box and it passed through this station. Um, not exactly a good way to travel. And Abraham Lincoln passed through here four times, several times surreptitiously. He was taken back to Philadelphia secretly and brought through on, uh, on the 22nd to board the night train to Baltimore from Philadelphia. So he arrived here at President Street Station about 3.30 in the morning. His car was uncoupled um, and was drawn by horse across the city and where it was uh, re-coupled uh, with a engine to take him to Washington, arriving safely in the uh, Capitol uh, early hours of the morning, six o'clock in the morning uh, in D.C. And as troops came through here at the start of the Civil War, rioting in the streets actually caused the first casualties of the conflict. The troops, the 6th Massachusetts, had to detrain and march on foot. And there they were attacked in the Inner Harbor. Following that attack, the police came down and escorted the Massachusetts soldiers to Camas Station. And then the mob actually returned here to President Street Station. We uh, average uh, roughly 50 people a day. Uh, like this past weekend, we had our parade and ceremony and we had 196 people. And it's, uh, and it's free. Here. Yes, it's free. The price is right. There is a lot of talk this year about this being the 200th anniversary of the War of 1812. But Rob and Ralph inside want you to remember that this is also the 150th anniversary of the Civil War. I'm Lou Davis for State Circle.